keep that jab and hook and cross, and that's just what Hearns did. Good right hand, stagger Curry. Hearns on the attack in round two. He's got Curry in trouble. Curry bobbing and weaving well, but down he goes from the left hand. Good right hand there that could have finished him. Curry staggering again, takes a short right. That right hand there goes was right to the chin, down he goes. It's over, he hit him with some right hand. Right on the butt. Perhaps you can describe what happened. The first one sent him down with the left hand, he staggered into the ropes, was a little off balance at the time, but when he came back up, you knew you had him, didn't you? Yeah, I caught him with the shot around the kitten. But from the shot to the kitten, I went straight up. Right straight up on the chin. And that's what took him out. Most yes. of the regrets. Oh! 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 Он еще головой вперед, видите, сделал движение. Да, он как раз пошел на встречу, только как бы замахиваясь. И как солдат упал прям. Ну, лбом прямо на стил ринга. Se noquea aún más sí, con sí, ese sí. golpe, ¿no? Y quedó con los ojos entreabiertos. A ver, ahí sí se va a ver. Vean. Pelu's got to keep his head, though. He's dangerous like that. The left hand spun him out. You're in trouble now. Is this it? The legs are buckled. Pelu's going for it. Pelu flat out here. What for Carver? God, he's in trouble. He stopped. Pelu's done it. Hamilton got his apart. Goes for Zap. He's destroyed Bacabo, who's still on the floor, and in some distress. You wonder what his depth perception is out of the right eye, Dan. I mean, just awkward, unorthodox. I think it was, oh, right hand, right on the button, and down goes Mohammed. I was mentioning, you know, his stance is a beautiful stance and perfect, and he launched that right hand right from the shoulder. Looked like he learned that one right out of a book. Bang, look at that, just short, crisp. The left air catching. Well, oh, goodness me, a big right hand there by Smolders. As when I was going back, he's not going to be... Again. That's the left hook, he moved away from that one. Oh, bang! On the side of the jaw, and didn't he go down heavily? Goodness me, what a finish there. Going into that Ruiz fight, he looked to be in the most comfortable place in his career. He was on a roll, he had won seven in a row by knockout. And now, Rex Grimsley with the first punch, and that looks like it Over. is it! Why is the referee counting? You don't have to count on that. Here's what happened. Boom, no, right on the side of the head. The very first punch. You land the first punch in a fight. Don't go out there and mess around. Karak dragging the jab back. Look how relaxed Grimsley is all the way down. From Naylor, Paul Hill looks to find a response. Sinking the body shot in there as well. And oh, got him. One punch knockout, all over. Well, we have to wait a long time for that. It's worrying, so it's good to see him back up on his feet. It was one of the few times that he left his chin exposed like that. I mean, he was first... And he's just missing and not timing his shots correctly because he could get Shea Hepo out there. Oh, it is a shot. shot. Beautiful shot, he's going to fall. Oh. Bob Williams goes in as if to stop it. He's finally... Not only he load up and he landed it, but Shea double impact because he walked into it. He walked into it with a very, very cumbersome right hand of his side. I mean, he left himself wide open. Very dangerous the, work there from Shea that's, that's not only the awkwardness, but also the exhaustion. The way he's no, coming in right. so wide open and kind of sloppy and getting more sloppy every round. It was, it was the exhaustion that was causing that as well. They took the risk because he'd never been in with anybody, anything like Wilberforce. Shehepa, remember the man, had been 12 rounds with Arthur Abraham, but the gamble has paid off.